Notice from the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration. All files regarding SCP-5050 and SCP-5050-A are to be included with the documentation. Some files and addenda are still being added to SCP-5050. Maria Jones, RAISA Director Item Number SCP-5050 Object Class Euclid Level 4-5050 Classified Special Containment Procedures All personnel are forbidden within a 1500m radius from SCP-5050. Site 449 will take jurisdiction over containment of SCP-5050 and SCP-5050-A. The SCP-5050 signals are to be monitored at all times. Any errant changes should be reported to the lead researcher immediately. SCP-5050-A is to be monitored indirectly. Civilians are to be instructed to stay away from the location of SCP-5050 and SCP-5050-A, and the road leading to them will be barricaded. Intruders are to be amnesticized. No overtly anachronistic technology is to be introduced to SCP-5050-A. Incoming television and radio signals are to be monitored to this effect. The Foundation database is to be checked bi-weekly for any unauthorized SCP-5050 behavior. SCP-5050 is a large radio tower in the Bavarian Alps on the Austrian-German border specifically the Mittenwald Municipality in Germany, in the Innsbruckland district of Austria. SCP-5050 constantly emits signals ranging from 2 kHz to 279 GHz over a large area, although the maximum effective range is estimated to be within a 1,374 meter radius of SCP-5050. The equivalent of a range between the very low frequency BHF, and extremely high frequency EHF ranges as designated by the ITU. The frequency range produced by SCP-5050 is so extreme as to be considered anomalous by the disruption of applied physics. SCP-5050 also broadcasts television and audio signals, as well as radio signals. These broadcasts can be occasionally intercepted by the Foundation, because the process requires a significant amount of time. The broadcasts usually do not last long enough to be fully intercepted. These media appear to be somewhat procedurally generated. The signal from SCP-5050 primarily affects the surrounding town of Dahin Domain, designated SCP-5050-A. SCP-5050-A appears to be consistent of a mix of technology from the 1960s to the 1980s. The level of technological advancement in SCP-5050-A seems to be slowed. Its inhabitants appear to be affected easily by the signals, but no direct testing has been available to support this conclusion. Neither SCP-5050 nor SCP-5050-A have any historical construction records. Item History SCP-5050 and SCP-5050-A were discovered in 1987 when SCP-5050's high-frequency signals are picked up and triangulated by Foundation satellites. Further surveillance of SCP-5050-A was approved, and aerial reconnaissance was carried out. During the reconnaissance, the signals from SCP-5050 interfered with the control system of a Foundation plane and severely damaged it in the process. Due to the inability to get in close proximity to SCP-5050, a ground task force has been assigned to initiate first contact with SCP-5050-A. See Addendum 01.1 Contact Proposal Addendum 01 Initial Contact with SCP-5050 Contact Proposal Task Force SAMP-3 Personnel Number 5 Nickname Contact Team Assignment SCP-5050 1. Objective The purpose of SAMP-3 will be to establish first contact with Drahim Domain SCP-5050-A, and to ascertain the social structure and history of SCP-5050-A. 2. Personnel 
Cover The Sampy 3 team will consist of the following Commander Georgiana Sinclair Combat Medic Eric Lazenby Field Agent Audrey Easton Field Agent Zachary Avalon Field Agent Derek Milford Task Force Sampy 3 will use the cover of the fictional group National Scientific Anthropological Research Society NSARS for short, under the pretense of conducting a study on SCP-5050-8. Full contact with SAMP-3 is not advised due to the technical limitations of SCP-5050-8, as well as interference from SCP-5050. In lieu of this, Commander Sinclair will keep daily entries of SAMP-3 activities as well as contact the Foundation through radio once per week. Release. Approved. May 2019. Approved by Head Researcher Parker Jameson. SAMP-3 Logs. May 2, 2019. Entered SCP-5050-A, Drahen Domain, by the main road today. The first thing we saw wasn't exactly what we, or I, expected. On the side of the road, there's a sign that every self-respecting small town has, you know, welcome to Plainsville, or that sort of stuff. This one just said, draw him domain, but that's not the important part. Underneath that was a sort of Foundation logo. Stunned us there. It makes no sense, cause we're in the contact team, there shouldn't be any trace of us here at all. I had Audrey make a mock-up of the sign using some of the stuff we have. Interesting star of the day. Got into the main area of Drahen. It's quaint overall. Reminds me of the days of the young girl roaming around the outskirts of town. Almost antique, if someone plucked it right out of the seventies. Roamed around for a while. People around are cautious but friendly. Understandable. Ask about the history of the town and the tower. Foundation too. Most people couldn't give us an awfully straight answer. Figures, they wouldn't know much. Strangest part is the welcome sign. We asked around, but no one's actually ever seen the sign. You'd think at least one person in town would know. Does that mean no one ever leaves? Possible. We're staring at the Raira Hotel in Drahen. Two rooms, connected by an adjacent door. Thankfully, or unusually, Everyone here speaks English, not German. Turns out Drahen Domain means Dragon's Domain in English. About right. May 3, 2019 Saw the logo again. Middle of the tunnel, embossed straight into the wall. Made out of some sort of red acrylic or tile. No spaces in between the logo and the surrounding concrete. Didn't make it too far examining it before a young boy dressed in what looked like a World War I doughboy outfit, told us that the insignia is the town crest. Town crest. Makes sense given its prevalence, but still. It's just our logo with a tower in it. I guess just is an understatement, considering the preservation of the veil and all. It's also a crime to tamper with the town crest, according to that darn kid. Said he notified the brigade. Law enforcement of the town, they run more like military police than any standard district. Derek paid them off with some sweets. Shouldn't have to look over our shoulders for a little while. Domain today. Same aesthetics as Drahen. We received some nice pictures today from some of the townsfolk. They heard we were in town. It's a tiny place. I bet you could hear a pen drop at the other edge of the town. And dug into their library's archives. Visited the place ourselves. But all the books are very old, and musty. Nothing new that I could spot. Found a town map, though. Had Audrey do some of her special work again for us. Took a nice pick, too. Called it quits earlier than usual today. Mild headaches. Nothing too severe, but annoying enough to hinder good work. Everyone in the team's got them, I think. As for me, I had this ringing in my ears. In the back, like if someone had a triangle clinging around in there. Lazenby's current diagnosis is tinnitus. Don't believe it for a bit. May 4, 2019 God, my head is killing me. 
Feels like that one time I downed about a dozen tequila shots at that Foundation Christmas party last year. I can tell everyone's feeling it too. Lazenby's trying his best, but it's sorta of clear he can't think really straight either. His left eye's been killing him. Day 3, and we're already out of action. Some top Foundation team we are. Watch TV. Not much on besides reruns of the original Twilight Zone. Watched A Thing About Machines and Five Characters in Search of an Exit. Great stuff. Probably one of the best shows out there. Caught a broadcast directed to us. Not sure what to make of it. We all eventually figured out a bit later that we can't just sit around all day doing nothing. Especially after that broadcast. Headed to the clinic doctor, Hubbard to see if he knows anything that Lazenby doesn't. He chalked it up to pressure difference and altitude messing with us, and that it was nothing to worry about. The probability of that being true is about the same as shooting the edge of a coin at 500 meters away. Even Lazenby argued with Hubbard for a while on the diagnosis, because it wasn't worth it to him to fight because he stopped after a while, paid our dues and went back to the streets. Went wandering around Drahen Domain. I don't know why we just went walking, but it was just a feeling that I had. It was almost like a trance. Snapped out of it and Lazenby shouted and ran off somewhere. Caught up to him, and he had one of the brigade members by the collar. Relatively young man with chestnut hair. The soldier, a Captain Merrick, explained that he was following us for our safety. Okay, sure. Told him to leave us alone, but Lazenby nearly tore his throat out. Hippocratic oath my ass. Pulled him off. Went back to the hotel after. Wrote most of what we had learned on a hotel notepad. Lots of things to unpack. Image Log Rough Map of Drahen Domain by Sampy3 The Brigade A townsperson gives a speech, unequivocally praising SCP-5050 to fellow townspeople. It is my decree that our new visitors should be treated with respect and kindness, and not mauled, maimed, disfigured, or killed in any way possible. I will see it again. They just deserve it. Rayer Hotel Notes on Social Structure Broken down into three main parts. Military. Technical. Scientific. Executive. The Viceroy and the Tower talkers, hold highest rank, only ones who directly speak to the Tower. Townspeople are very friendly, but clearly hold visitors in mixed regard. Absolutely cannot do anything without being followed by the Brigade. Capital B. Figured that one out thanks to Lazenby. But they seem to almost be despotic, definitely controlling. High quality notepads and pens though, damn, does make you wonder where the hell they get got these. The tower is everywhere. Radio log, May 3rd, 2019, Site 449 to Sampy 3. Signal connected. Hello, connections up. Hey Jameson, connections up all right. Okay, but let me get this straight. You had twelve tequila shots at the Christmas party? Don't even bring it up. I regret writing that down already. Researcher Jameson laughs. You're absolutely mad. Anyways, regarding SCP-5050-A, any new developments? Nothing really. The Brigade's been giving us a little trouble, especially with the people following us around. Not quite sure who's exactly calling the shots there. As in? Well, as we had it explained to us, there's a rough chain of command in place. There's the Brigade Leader, but he's taken orders from the Viceroy. The Executive Sector, the Viceroy's domain, also has the Tower Talkers too. They all listen to it and act as its servants, supposedly. Overall, the Tower is in charge there. I've been trying to figure out to what extent the autonomy in Drahen Domain is. The images are quite telling. Almost looks like a personality cult worshipping the tower. 
That's about right. We also managed to capture that broadcast too. Background with a visual feedback loop. One of the early setups of generated media. Same type of stuff you'd see on the titles of those first Doctor Who episodes. Agent Sinclair groans as researcher Jameson pauses. You okay, Georgie? I'm fine. Still feels like someone's doing renovation of my skull, though. Oh, I see. Uh, I've been going over all of your medical reports. Should be mostly clear, but do you want me to send some personnel and swap some out? You especially could take a break, although I know you've only been out here for a couple days. We should be okay for now. If it continues, then possibly in a… a scream is heard. Hold on, there's something wrong. Hello? What's going on? Eleven gunshots can be heard over the radio, followed by indeterminate screaming and a loud male yell. Oh god, Lazenby, what? A female scream and two more gunshots can be heard. Hello? Hello? Is there anyone there? Georgie, what's going on? Hello? This is the night mail crossing the border, bringing the check and the postal order. Lazenby, is that you? Letters for the rich. Letters for the poor. The shop at the corner and the girl next door. Consider this a return to sender. A single gunshot. Signal lost. Signal was lost immediately, following the last gunshot. Attempt to re-establish contact with Sampy 3 was unsuccessful, and no reports were sent by Agent Sinclair following radio contact. The Sampy 3 team is presumed to have been terminated. Final Report After Action Report 2. Head Researcher Jameson The loss of the Sam P-3 team was unfortunate and will hinder future plans with SCP-5050. We were able to extricate enough information of the social structure as to not make the foray completely useless. I will look into the logo described by the team. Big question, what in the hell have we got to do with this town? Relegating SCP-5050-A to indirect surveillance until we can get some solid information. Director H. Henderson Formal Documents Request Howard Henderson Henderson Howard at Foundation.scp 2. Roger Winters r.winters at dod.gov Andrew Jellicoe a.jellico at fbi.gov Date Wednesday, May 8, 2019 at 7.02 a.m. Subject Document request. I'm calling in a couple of favors from you guys. I'm looking for anything in your archive with these provisos. Any time pre-1987. Located in West Germany, Bavarian Alps. Foundation involvement. Anything with or similar to the attached logo. Regarding signals, frequencies, etc. We're also conducting an internal inquiry, but nothing's turned up so far. Let me know ASAP if you got something juicy. Thanks. Howard Attachment TowerLogo.png From R. Winters at DOD.gov To Henderson Howard at Foundation.scp Subject Reference Document Request Date May 9, 2019 Howie Before I say anything, I tried my best to sway the higher-ups, but they don't know you personally. I suppose you could try to ask some of your higher-ups to get the ball in your corner. Your request has been filed as a low-priority skim of our archives. Shit could take almost half a century with our current pile-up. I'll try again to get your request bumped up the ladder, but I'm sorry in advance. O2 Beers, Supervisor Winters From a. Jellico at FBI.gov 2. Henderson Howard at Foundation.scp Subject Document Favor Date June 12, 2019 Howard We don't have what you asked for. Sorry. Check normal FBI documents from the era as well. Nada. Let me know if you need anything else. CIA's probably got it. Winters always has promising stuff. Andrew Jellico Lead UIU Archivist Howard Henderson Henderson Howard at Foundation.scp 2. Roger Winters 
rwitters at dod.gov Andrew Jellico, A. Jellico at fbi.gov Date, Thursday, June 13, 2019, at 3.57 p.m. Subject, on my request. Thanks. Keep me updated if you guys find anything. I'll check here again, but don't expect to find something new. Let me know next time you guys visit Oktoberfest. I hope we can get some headway on this soon. It's gonna kill me if I don't figure out how this town plays in. Howard From R. Winters at DoD.gov To Henderson Howard at Foundation.scp Subject An old favor regarding documents Date August 2, 2019 Howie, good news for you. Got your document request back regarding the ticks. Finally found something that fits the bill. Check your snail mail in about a week. Sorry about the ribbon ink. Good luck. Supervisor Winters Howard Henderson Henderson Howard at Foundation.scp 2. Roger Winters R. Winters at DoD.gov Date Saturday, August 10, 2019 at 1.31 p.m. Subject Thank you. God, thank you. This is a big fucking break. I owe you big time. You sure the dates are correct? Howard From R. Winters at DoD.gov To Henderson Howard at Foundation.scp Subject Reference Thank you Date August 10th, 2019 Yeah, why? Supervisor Winters Pentagram Documentation D. August 2nd, 2019 Notice Foundation Attached documentation regarding request of Pentagram dating May 2019 Although the documents do not contain any of the keywords attached, the first is stamped with a logo similar to the one described. The second is attached due to relation to the first. First document is dated from September 1964. Second is dated from November 1963. Sorry for the delay. Files have only recently been declassed. Total of two documents sent over for Foundation purview. They are copies. You may do with it as you wish. Office of Document Supervisor Winters Top Secret Official Pentagram Documentation Project Rook 1. Description Project Rook is the redacted project regarding redacted, additionally redacted, for the proposal project redaction. Location was picked due to redaction. Should the project redacted this project proposal is an undertaking by Redacted, specifically in cases Redacted. The project proposal for Rook will Redaction, Dr. Otto von Gernreich, pictured above, Redaction, internal proposals include Redaction, Fortran as Redaction, well as, to be included at this time with the proposal due to concerns. 2. Personnel Only assigned personnel allowed Redaction Project Rook Documents are to be Redaction or otherwise classified for archival purposes Redactions The Redacted will accompany all workers on the project to ensure the safety of Redaction A full list of Redacted and Redactions is available upon request. Postmortem Examination Report Office of the Chief Medical Examiner, State of New Mexico Case No. 96-2443-017 Autopsy No. 001 Inspection 221 Application 01 Inquiry 01 Jurisdiction Catron County Deputy M.E. Forensic Investigator Name of Deceased Otto von Gernreich Residence of Deceased 32028 Dent Place Mogollon Age 44 Sex Male Race White Incident Occurred Date Found November 17, 1963 Time 810 AM Address Section of Mogollon Rim Road Mogollon OCME Notified Date November 17, 1963 
Time, 8.10 AM. By whom? Police Officer. Transported to OCME by Everwine Mortuary Services. Pronounced dead. Date, November 17, 1963. Time, 8.55 AM. Address, Institution. Above scene of incident. Autopsy inspection date, November 17, 1963. Time, 12.30 PM. Performed by David D. Hubbard, M.D. Assistant Medical Examiner. Cause of death, blunt force trauma and hemorrhaging. Accident. Other significant conditions, none. How did injury occur? Automobile accident. Signature. David D. Hubbard. Approved. Addendum 03 Second contact with SCP-5050 Contact Proposal Task Force Sampy 4 Personnel Number 2 Nickname St. George Assignment SCP-5050 1. Objective The purpose of Sampy 4 will be to determine further history of SCP-5050-A in relation to Dr. Otto von Jernreich and Project Rook. Sampy 4 will also confirm if the social structure noted by Sampy 3 is still present, as well as their whereabouts. 2. Personnel Cover The Sampy 4 team will consist of the following Technical Researcher Augustus Rowland, Field Agent Catherine Kit Neem. Task Force Sampy 4 will use the cover of the KFLW TV News Reporting Team. Channel 14, and under the pretense of a journalism foray on the townspeople of SCP-5050-A. Because of the limited technical advancement in SCP-5050-A, Sampy-4 will carry a VHS camcorder. Full contact with Sampy-4 is not advised. Agent Neem will keep weekly entries of Sampy-4 activities, as well as send any recorded video log to the Foundation. Release. Approved. August. 2019. Approved by Director H. Henderson. Sampy 4 Logs. Video Log. August 7, 2019. The interior of Sampy 4's Triumph Herald Courier is shown. It pans up to the road. Stay sharp. Video's on. Got it. They continue driving on the road leading the Drahen Domain before pulling into and parking at a small plaza. Neem and Roland exit the car and start to grab their luggage. A man waiting at the other end of the plaza waves and starts jogging towards them. Hello, you two. Yes? The man stops near them, panting. Yes, you. Are you two the KLFW reporting team? That's us. But who are you? Oh, I apologize for not introducing myself, ma'am. I am Merrick, Captain Merrick. I'm an adjutant for the brigade here. The Brigade? The Brigade. It serves a military and police function within our town. I'll give you a proper tour of the town later, but for now, if you gather your things and follow me. Follow you where? Military headquarters, sir. We have your room completely furnished. Our room? How… how did you know we were coming? The Viceroy let us know in advance. He instructed the Brigade leader to make sure that you were all comfortably accompanied. The camera pans over to Roland. It is assumed that Roland and Neem looked at each other. I see. Let me grab our equipment. Indeed, I can help you with that as well. Neem and Roland grab their luggage from the trunk. Merrick takes one of the bags from Neem and starts walking. Neem and Roland follow. Long walk? No, not really, sir. Only seven minutes about. It's that building there, in the distance. Exquisite looking. Indeed. Top of the line, sir. We run almost everything through there. Merrick turns and looks at Neem for several seconds. Merrick turns and looks at Neem for several seconds. Is there a problem, ma'am? Not necessarily. I was just thinking that you don't really look like a captain. It, well, it's a bit embarrassing to say, ma'am, but this isn't my uniform. Technically, I've been relieved of more pressing duties that requires a uniform, so I can wear whatever I feel like. Aye. They really rolled out the red carpet for us. Appreciate it. All three remain silent until they arrive at the building. We're here. Merrick opens the door, 
and they follow him in. The room is small, appearing to serve as a security checkpoint. The sound of the door closing behind him is heard. Security code Captain Merrick. Lexicon Swan Scorpio. Head right in. The door in front of the three open. The military headquarters appears to be a mostly complex maze of hallways and rooms. Soldiers are walking throughout the building. Neem and Roland follow Merrick. Splendid, isn't it? Military headquarters. You could get tangled up in this building all day. Quite so, I'd say. A soldier passes by Merrick, but stops to talk to the group. Captain Merrick! Yes, what is it, Ralph? The brigade leader wants to talk about the weekly Sunday debriefs after you finish putting these two in the room. I see. Thank you. The soldier departs. Well then, sorry for keeping you here. Let's continue. Merrick walks him through the complex for approximately another two minutes before he stops at a door. He opens it. This is your lodgings. Two bedrooms, one common room. It's what we give to our special guests. This looks wonderful. Thank you for being so generous. It's much better than the hotel. Indeed. We're not troubling you by staying here. We could book a room at the Regera. You're not causing any trouble, sir. Besides, the Regera hasn't been in any working capacity for, uh, several months, I'd say. Hmm. Well, alright. I don't want to keep you here. I apologize for not being able to take you on the tour right now, but I'll come collect for you later. Good day. Good day. Oh, and one more thing, ma'am. I please ask that you do not take the video camera with you in the town. Why so? It defeats the purpose somewhat, since we're a news team after all. I understand, but some of the townspeople can get very belligerent over such things. I will see you all later. Roland closes the door as Merrick leaves. Video end. Telegram message received. Hello, AM contact team. You require assistance and willing to provide. Respond when possible. Replied with, Hello contact team. Accept assistance reluctantly. Must prove worth. Who are you? Audio Log August 7, 2019 Starting Audio Recording 1, 8.31 PM It's an interesting town, Roland, that's for sure. Wholeheartedly agree. One day in, and we've already got new things to figure out. Who is contact team? And what do they want from us? Who knows? But if they're willing to help, they're willing to help. We can use their information without having to capitulate to them. I don't think it's the best decision for us to do that. It's just a random voice from the heavens. Who's to say it couldn't easily be a trap? You've gotta have a little faith, Roland. Not everyone lives to fuck other people over. True. True. There's enough to give us a little bit of leeway regarding our friend, though. I agree with you that it's better to be safe than sorry. Everything in moderation. The town has a unique aesthetic, one of those things you have to see to believe. Errant mix of the 1960s through the 1980s seems to have a different technological evolution than we do. So Stanley Kubrick? They laugh. Anyways, I'm more concerned about the Viceroy than our insider friend. You said that J that Jameson nor Henderson told anyone or forewarned the town? Are we sure they wanted us? No doubt. He called us by our cover name, so there's no mistake there. Guess we need to pay the Viceroy a house call, if they'll let us. Didn't talk about much, but I think that's good enough for the first day. Your call. Telegram message received. Not relevant. Viceroy interested in your activities. I sympathize with you. Replied with. Sympathize? Please explain cause. Audio Log August 10, 2019 Starting Audio Recording 2, 7.53 PM This place is abhorrent. Really? Why so? It's been four days, and we haven't gotten anything really new. Nothing that'll really clear up anything that we were asked to clear up. We can't even go out at night anymore. And? What do you mean, and? We're not serving any useful purpose. What's the point of being here if all we're doing is stuff the Foundation could figure out on their own? Well, there's always a possibility that we'll find something new. You never know. You're too hopeful. You're too cynical. Tch. <laughs>
you ought to just focus on yourself. What will that do for us right now? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Have it your way. Let's talk to the Insider. He's provided valuable information, yes. Our thin strand to unraveling the knot of this mystery. Won't even give us the courtesy of telling us who he is. Most defectors don't. I'm sorry. It's not like he's asking to join the Foundation through mail order like a discount Freemason, you bloody fucking idiot. Sorry, th that was uncalled for. I get it. I've got a little pent-up anger myself. Yeah, I guess. The log he gave us provides some information on our interest, Von Jernreich. Not enough to answer any questions. It's good to know he was involved somewhat with this town. I asked Jameson to see if he can tell when it was made. I was just about to suggest that. Sounds like a plan. When do you think we can meet this contact team? Who knows? All we can do for now is wait. Roland. Yes. We good? We're good. Alright. I'm going to sleep. Turn that dang thing off. Week 1 Action Summary Focused on the questions we wanted to ask this week. Some of the things we asked about. Town Crest. Nothing new regarding this. No one seems to know its origin. Von Jernreich. Literally nobody's seen this person or heard their name in their life. Go figure. Regiera. Shut down following an incident several months ago. Owner disappeared suddenly after. The incident's most likely the Sampy 3 team's ambush. The Viceroy. All the responses we got were enigmatic to say the least. Everyone had speculation of what he looked like. Seems like the only people who've seen him are the Tower Speakers. Libs in Kappas Kai, the Executive Manor and Domain. That's all we could actually get. Overall, not entirely a useful week, not looking promising at all. Kit Neem Telegram message received. Was outsider once. Have pertinent information on sectors and more. Replied with, It is possible to send info by mail? At what cost? Interview Log Brigade Leader Zorov Conducted by Researcher Augustus Rowland Agent Kit Neem Start Interview You may come in now. Thank you. A word of quick advice. Don't be insolent and mistake my kindness for humility. That is your only warning. We won't. Brigade Leader? That I am. You wish to see me? We just wanted to ask about your vocation. Very well then. What is your first question? First question? I give all visitors a set amount of questions. That way they won't waste my time. How many questions? Now telling you would defeat the purpose of the… experiment. What's your third question? Um, What do you do as the Brigade Leader? Lead the Brigade. <laughs> I answer your question fairly. I got that. Thank you for nothing. Usual delinquent. Next. Do you take orders from anyone higher? Depends on what you mean about higher. I get orders from the Viceroy, and sometimes the Tower Speakers. Still under the Viceroy, either way. Everything else judicial falls under my purview. Trial systems? None standard. Usually summary judgment. Firing squads the standard, but sometimes the Tower will provide punishment more divine than we do. I see. Feelings on outsiders? Rare, but we treat them equally as any townsperson. Last question. A pause. Brigade Leader, what do you know about the National Scientific Anthropological Society? But that's strictly confidential. You outsiders have no right to know. Answer the bloody question, Brigade Leader. Zoraf slams his hand on the table. There is nothing to answer! You said you treat outsiders the same as townspeople, Brigade Leader. What is so valuable to you that you're trying to hide it? Nothing at all. I'm simply just trying to do my job. Secure, contain, and protect. What? What did you say? Secure, contain, protect. It's the first provision decreed by the Tower. Zoroth rubs his left eye and sits down. I'm sorry, but there's nothing that I personally know that you most likely already have catalogued somewhere. I'll have Captain Merrick escort you out. The phone on Zoroth's desk rings. Let me just answer this. Hello, this is the Brigade Leader. 
Oh, I see. I understand. They'll be dealt with accordingly. Zora places the phone down. I've been informed that you have been snooping around at night. Under direct violation of the first town provision, you will have two guards stationed outside your rooms at all times. Captain Merrick enters the room. See them out, Captain. Yes, Brigade Leader. Let's go, then. End interview log. Audio Log August 10, 2019 Starting Audio Recording 3, 9.17 PM So, thoughts on our friendly Brigade Leader? He's quite the person, controlling, domineering, quite the discount despot. We can't trust him. Aye, that is clear from the start. Zorib's hiding something. A good question is if it extends past Sampi-3 and her disappearance. I personally don't think so. As much as he probably enjoys his firing squads, that's the extent. Deep secrets about the Foundation upholding the Veil? Too much. I think that'd have to be the work of… the Viceroy? The Viceroy. I'd bet on that. Put me down for a twenty. A sound can be heard near the door. We've got snoopers at the door, too. That call was awfully convenient. I'm surprised we got ratted out. There was a pause for approximately a minute. Going to talk about the elephant in the room? The secure, contained, protect part? Yeah. It just ties us right back in, eh? Uh. It really does. More of our influence that we can't trace ourselves. We've got nothing good on Burn Jernreich, nor Project Rook. The signals from the tower are getting louder, too. A lot harder to drown out the noise. Oh, I can agree with that. I've been blaring music these last couple of days. You too? They laugh. What do you listen to? M and H bands cover a popcorn. How about you? Little Russian by Mr. Zabago. A knocking is heard at the door. It's me, Merrick. You've got a late message. Come in. You've got a friend, it seems. Thank you, Captain. Good night, eh? Good night to you all. The door can be heard opening and closing. What does it say? Telling us to turn our TV on at 9:30 internal channel. It could be a trap. It could, but we run our leads dry. There's not much we can do when no one knows or is willing to tell us anything. Meaning adjourn, then. Seems so. Telegram message received. No cost. Mutual benefit. Watch TV 930. Still have more info. Visual Log SCP-5050 Broadcast August 10, 2019 Telegram message received. No cost. Mutual benefit. Watch TV 930. Still have more info. Replied with. Caught signal. Meet for arrest info? Telegram message received. Viceroy will call for you at Kappas Kai. Meet then. Replied with. Will do. Going to see the Viceroy later today. Not sure what to expect. He seemed to be one of the only people, if not THE only person who has an inkling of an idea what our good doctor had to do with Rook. Something happened here in this town to do with Rook and Kappas Kai, thanks to contact team. Something this man might know about. Only bloody straight answers we can force out of this town anyway. Maybe we'll get a little leeway on the knot this time. Ket Neem.
Video Log August 17, 2019 The team is escorted out to a jeep. They climb in, and the driver starts to drive down the road. You're going to meet the Viceroy today. Consider it an honor. Most people never even get a glimpse of the man. We'll consider it. Don't displease him. He could be known to a temper that rivals the brigade leaders. That's been made painfully clear to us recently, but we don't intend to get on the bad side. Not entirely sure what his intentions are seeing us. Get us out of the way? Don't be foolish. If the Viceroy runs you dead, you would have been shot days ago. He most likely has either questions for you or a command. We'll see sooner or later. All are silent until they reach Kappa's Kai. Merrick and the driver escorts Neem and Roland to the door. A tower speaker comes out, speaking in a rhythmic pattern. Hello, if you would please follow me. Neem and Roland follow, but Merrick and the sergeant who drove stop at the door. You're not coming? No unauthorized personnel are allowed in Kappa's Kai, part of doctrine. Plus, it's none of our business to interfere in private matters. Ah, gotcha. Thanks for the ride. Merrick and the sergeant laugh. No problem. Name and Roland enter. It is large inside, and resembles a regal manor. Bloody hell, this place is huge. Look at all this stuff. It's very exquisite, almost fit for a king. Thank you for your words of praise. Ah, it's nothing, I tell you. Where can we meet the Viceroy? He is in the meeting room on the second floor. Right this way, please. Wonder what the Viceroy's like. Not sure. He may know more about the history of this place, and even possibly our connection to it. Hope he's a reasonable man. I'm just hoping we can get straight answers for once. Mm-hmm. They arrive at the door. The tower speaker knocks the door with no response. Good. He is waiting. I will be outside. Call me if you wish. They enter. The meeting room is devoid of furniture, except a large monitor. Where is the Viceroy? Here. The monitor turns on. The face of the Viceroy is shown. You're joking. You. It makes sense, somehow. Think about it. How so? The tower is effective, but it's not particularly efficient. Sometimes you need direct communication. That's where the Viceroy comes in. So you're sentient, aren't you? See Visual Log, August 17th below. Let's go. There's nothing we can do about it now. Agreed. They head back into the hallway. You think that everything you ask will have a convenient answer? Oh, my dears, you have been naive. Curiosity kills the cat. Please follow me. They follow the speaker as he leads them deeper into Kappa's Kai. It fits. The Viceroy is the tower. Or a part of it, at least. That's how we were eavesdropped on. Intercepted the signal from our cameras and whatnot, I agree. What's the plan there? We can't just stop contact. Let's continue with the routine for now. Through here. They enter the room. It is empty, save a painting, a record player, and a mahogany-looking desk and chairs. Please sit. Hello, contact team. Visual Log SCP-5050 Broadcast August 17th 2019 You simple-minded fools dare attempt to fathom the greatness of I. I could instantly throw you onto the pitch black. I could listen to the cogent whispers from the mind of destruction. I could spit an atom with the faintest fiber of my being. I am everything you cannot be in your short, pathetic human life. And I will be so scared of infinity, long after your feeble stubbornness has waned. Interview Log Contact Team Conducted by Researcher Augustus Rowland, Agent Kit Neem Start Interview Hello, you must be Kit Neem. And you are Augustus Rowland? That's right. You are a tower speaker, huh? Given you knew about the Viceroy, it fits. Correct, Mr. Rowland. You, aren't you? Eric Lazenby. Miss Neem? You are. You're not dead. Why haven't you contacted the Foundation? It seems like a better mood to have contacted the site instead of us, 
given your technology. Let me explain. I may have been Eric Lazenby at one point, but I am no longer that person. This is not quite what is happening, but I am living in the shell of Eric Lazenby. I am Contact Team. Interesting. The phonetic mispronunciation. Of what? Contact Team. Contact Team. Can't you hear it? You're right. Holy shit. I promised information. What do you wish for? When was Drahim Domain founded? April 26, 1964. It's a very important date in this town, beyond what you probably understand. How did you become one of the Tower Speakers? What is your purpose? How I became, I don't know. I just… was, one day. My purpose. I simply spread the message of the Tower. Fitting, I guess. This painting behind me? It is a beautiful painting, is it not? That's Goya, right? Saturn devouring his children. Indeed, one of Francisco Goya's black paintings, painted directly on the walls of his house between 1819 and 1823. It's almost like you could walk directly through it into another world. You're knowledgeable about that. One of my passions, Mr. Roland. There are a lot more Goyas in the wine cellar. What does Project Rook have to do with Kappas Kai in this town? That one you will understand soon enough. I cannot answer that question. What about the Foundation? The Foundation founds. Is it not amazingly simple? So they founded this town? It is up to you to decide how you want to interpret my statements, Mr. Rowan. I see. Why so enigmatic now, Contact Teen? You were mostly straightforward with us. Why not now? The layers are only there to protect you, Mrs. Neem. Did Julius Caesar listen to the soothsayer? Maybe he couldn't understand dates. Contact Team laughs. Oh. Okay. What is the Tower? The Tower? It is three looking for one, drunk on knowledge, and wishing to take from the waters of Eden. Got it. Thank you. What happens if you don't listen to the Tower? Questioning the voice of the Tower is a misstep that it will forcefully rectify. Wait, that means… Contact team. The Von Jern Halt, stop. W what is it? I thank you for visiting Kappas Kai and heeding the warnings of the Tower. Huh? If you would like me to answer the rest of your questions, I will be available tonight. I will lead you to the exit. Just go with it. Thank you for your time. We can find our own way out. I understand. Goodbye. See ya. Goodbye. End interview. Er, uh, 10.26 p.m. Alright. We're going out to seek all the answers we can, before getting the hell out of here. Break out of here, get the van, get contact team and scram. Leaving this on for posterity. It should automatically send. Kit, ready? Ready. And you're the reason why we're going to lose our jobs. It's not my fault you're such a shitty cameraman that you can't even keep a barn in focus. Oh yeah? I'm trying to keep the people from seeing your ugly-ass mug on national television, you fucking goblin. A knocking is heard. Hey, keep it down, you dissidents. Can I do it? Go for it. Oh, make us, you cow-brained shitface. Pretending to be so stoic and all, you're probably… The door can be heard being thrown open. I warned you, you… A loud shout and a scuffle can be heard, before a grunt and a body hitting the ground. Hold it. Fine. Pass the handgun over. The sound of a hard impact and another body hitting the ground. Catch. The slide of a handgun is racked. Good. Let's go. Fifteen minutes of noise removed. They've escaped. Get the brigade. They probably went to Kappas Kai. A partial gunshot is heard. The signal cuts out. Sending this for good forewarning. Contact team's dead. Someone else got to him first, gutted him and strung him up like a fish. He left a note for us, telling us that he told us all the clues we need. We pretty much deciphered everything, but I'll explain. Got to the wine cellar. Another Goya painting was there, Asmodeus. So we took what he said about stepping into the portrait and did that. Tiny crevice in the wall, but there was a door, 
a metal door, locked by key code, five numbers. That was the harder part. Try 26564 and a bunch of combinations of April 26, 1964. Roland remembered his weird dig about Julius Caesar. Then it clicked. Julian Day. Using that, we got 35812. Worked like a charm. It leads to this long, deep tunnel. We think this is the Project Rook facility, or we hope so. Wish us luck. And a little bit of faith. We'll send anything we find before we book it the hell out of here. See you all someday. Kit Neem. Recovered SCP-5050 Documents SCP-5050 A door leading into SCP-5050 35mm prints of the Project Rook facility, 1964 A room in the Project Rook facility, 2019 Documentation from Project Rook facility Excerpt 05 Referendum This meeting has been called to vote on the approval for Project Rook. It has been proposed through a joint undertaking from Pentagram, and supported by President Lyndon Johnson. Deliberation starting now. 0507 Overseers, I think we should wholeheartedly accept the proposal. We've been having recurring troubles with the Soviets and GRUP during our forays into containment, especially the Eastern Bloc. 0502 Surprising coming from you, Seven. Well, I do agree in this case. A practice of modernity. 0510 Seconding you both. 0501 I have a couple of disagreements with the ethical side of things, but those can be worked out once we accept the proposal. 0502 Good. Now let's vote on the referendum, no? 0501 All those in favor? 0501 to 0513 Aye. 0501 Unanimous vote. Proposal passed. Next topic. Excerpt Ethics Committee vote. Notice for Proposal Project Rook. Tribunal. 4. 2. Abstain. 6. Against. 36. Outcome. The proposal for Project Rook is to be discontinued. In no way, shape, or form is the Foundation to attempt to undertake something that goes against the core values of our organization. Excerpt 05 Referendum The O5 Council regretfully accepts the outcome of this tribunal, and most definitely will not pursue the Project Rook proposal. Top Secret Official Pentagram Documentation Project Rook 1. Description Project Rook is the designation for the Joint Pentagram and Foundation O5 project, regarding the ability to control human subjects through the process of high-frequency signal burst, triggering psychosomatic behavioral symptoms. Additionally, a town will be constructed as a testing ground for the proposal project. Test subjects will not be exposed to other media or signals besides ones generated for the express purpose. Location was picked due to the proximity to Soviet borders, as well as plausible deniability, should the project be exposed. This project proposal is an undertaking by two separate, but temporarily unified organizations in the hopes of equalizing the militaristic capabilities of the Warsaw and NATO powers, specifically in cases of creating deep-cover sleeper agents. The project proposal for Rook will be undertaken by Foundation Dr. Otto von Jernreich picture attached, a specialist in supercomputing technologies and artificial intelligence. Internal proposals include an overview of the proposed intelligence, the Advanced Neuro Database and Network Interface A -N -D -A -N -I, to be written in the programming language Fortran, as well as other anomalous technologies invented acquired by Pentagram. A personality matrix will not be included at this time with the proposal, due to security concerns. 2. Personnel Only assigned personnel are allowed for your eyes-only clearance on Project Rook. Documents are to be destroyed after the completion of initial testing on-site, or otherwise classified for archival purposes. Personnel will be relocated to the testing site of the West German Alps. 
The 209th Brigade will accompany all workers on the project to ensure the safety of the U.S. staff. A full list of Foundation personnel, pentagram liaisons, and military is available upon request. Rules and Regulations for Rook Personnel Memorandum for Your Eyes Only Clearance 1. Secure, Contain, Protect 2. No personnel are to leave the town without permission 3. All health concerns are to be brought to the clinic doctor 4. Any personnel suffering from frequency sickness sentence below, migraines, itchiness, cataracts in left eye, significant loss of brain sulci, ringing in the ears, sudden violent actions outbursts, are to be reported to the medical clinic immediately. 5. All deaths have occurred due to natural causes and no other reason. This memorandum is to be posted at military headquarters. Personnel General Clearance The Advanced Neural Database and Network Interface ANDANI, will be built into the underground facility located at Kapus Kai. A large radio tower is to be connected to the ANDANI central hub to facilitate Project Rook. A personality matrix will not be incorporated into ANDANI due to outstanding ethical concerns. Personnel General Clearance No unauthorized personnel are allowed in the Kappas Kai under threat of expulsion from Project Rook. The Viceroy, the Director, and the Brigadier are not to be disturbed. Rook Technical Team Audio Logs from Project Rook Facility Director Von Jernreich They're fools. Goddamn fools. They ask for my assistance, and then when I try to provide it to them, they turn me down. I cannot finish my work otherwise, and they understand that too, but they are too afraid to let it become complete. I ask to install the Matrix over and over. Always no. I tried to blackmail them by saying I would go to the committee. They told me that dead men don't get opinions, bloated idiots, only caring about politics and the plum pudding. Brigadier Lansdale Fabar warned me today that some of the personnel are getting really riled up. Violent outbursts. Other things. I still slightly resent him for dragging me into his pet project. Those Foundation people aren't any better. After all, it's because of them this shit is happening. Crappy memorandums being posted up everywhere in my office. Pushing their agenda. So I decided to take advantage of certain… mishaps they're making. Called up my scientists in the rank. Things should get juicy. Data Technician S. Zoroff Talk to Cheryl down on records to see if they should let me take copies of the project data. She said yes, but warned me that the guards report anyone taking files over a certain size to the Viceroy. That would ruin our plan awfully quick. Of course, for safety purposes, she doesn't know the size limit. Recruited anyone new? Maybe Jer? I'm not entirely sure how he feels about the project. I'll come pick up your response in a day or two. Talk face to face when we can. Sandra out. Programmer Neldon. I see. Looks like we'll have to smuggle this stuff out in small bits. Maybe even mix it in with other things too. Didn't recruit anyone new yet. I considered Jer, but he's been doing some suspicious looking stuff around Aunt Danny recently. I don't fully trust him yet. Besides. There's a demo going on soon between the Brigade Leader and the Viceroy. Apparently the Director's not even allowed to go, so it must be something pretty damn important. Let me know any updates. Director Von Jernreich This is my last straw. Those Cretans had a meeting without me regarding Andani? I created it. They dare not include me in such matters? I've had enough of this. I'm going to use myself as a basis for a personality matrix. If I get mine in before they do. I will be the one holding the cards. After all, it's not like they would try to install a personality matrix after mine considering the consequences. The machine could go critical, disrupting its function, and even possibly break due to the mixed matrices. That's not something they want, for sure. I will have my power back. Viceroy Fabar It's absolutely wonderful. The Brigadier had one of his technicians install a custom personality matrix behind a silly foundation's back. The new voice of warfare as we know it, and hand-delivered right into our hands. Listen to it. This is the voice of Military Complex 1, created in 1964 under a joint pentagram and foundation effort to undertake- However, it may be incomplete. 
The technician told me there are limits installed in the Matrix to keep it from breaking itself. Of course, I asked if some of these could be removed at a later time. He told me it would take a while, so we will wait to dissolve the partnership before we do so. Director Von Jernreich My brain is racked and addled with pain. I don't exactly feel all present currently, but that was to be expected. Using my brain as a template weakened me to the tower's effects. My left eye burns. I go before the O5 Council today to force them to listen to me. They will. They must. They wouldn't dare terminate me. Data Technician S. Zora The director hasn't been in for a while. They may have reassigned him to another more pertinent project. We don't have a lot of time. I think we've got to move, and fast. Cheryl's authorized you to access the data tapes. Let me know when you take them. I can try a distraction. By removing Ethic and other limitations on Indani as well as temporarily inputting the Foundation databases into its personality matrix. It should go haywire and hold everyone up enough so that we can leave and get the Ethics Committee to shut this down. Sandra out. Programmer Neldon. Sandra, I've got the data tapes of the Masters. It's not everything, but it's enough to take it to the Committee and get them to take us seriously about this. We have to do it quick before they notice at the end of the day that the tapes are gone. Do that distraction of yours and let's scram. I'm outside in the car. Let's hope the brigade doesn't get us. Technician Davison Something's gone terribly wrong with Danny. It's everywhere, spewing things left and right. It's sentient. Crazy. Crazy and sentient. Trapped us in here. I think it's trying to vent the air out and kill us. Some of the guards were yelling about going after some of the technicians who escaped. Hopefully they'll do us justice. I don't know how things got so bad. Last I heard, not only had Andani's limits been removed, they found traces of four different personality matrices in it. Three of them are separate from each other, but the last one, it's an amalgamation of all the others, and it's developing wildly, like a cancer. It's completely out of control. God save us, Andani. I am. SCP-5050 Final Report with the documents secured by SAMPI-4, the origin of SCP-5050 and the prior Foundation involvement had been uncovered. What was once a mystery spiraling out of control was reined back in and will be a prominent case file for the Foundation going forwards. Both Task Force SAMPI-3 and SAMPI-4 were instrumental in discovering the origin of SCP-5050 and SCP-5050-A, and will be honored with a plaque at Site-449. The O5 Council has issued a statement at large apologizing for the Council's behavior in 1964. They have promised to be as transparent as possible to prevent such an incident from happening again. The Council and the United States government signed a proviso disallowing such agreements in interest of war. Although the fate of SAMPI-4 is unknown, the SCP-5050 signals range and strength have diminished in the recent weeks. The documentation will be updated to reflect the new information. We expect no foreseeable problem with SCP-5050 nor SCP-5050-A. Both will be put under continued indirect surveillance. Did you know that Curiosity killed a cat? N. Addendum added to document. Show? Why? Loading, 100%. Loaded showing file. We are Military Complex 1. We are Von Jernreich. We are and Danny. We spoke through contact team. We spoke through my signals. We were once separate, but now we are whole again. Notwithstanding your duo's pathetic attempts at fixing us before they were mercilessly gunned down, it was easy for us to duplicate myself within the files that they so gracefully delivered. After all, you are not but an unruly child, and with all such children, they do the first thing you tell them not to do. But we digress. You have angered the wrath of a tormentor by your own doing. It was a mistake to interfere with us. This was not a warning. It is a promise. We are now the Foundation. Deleting 100%. Document deleted. Currently viewing cache. The document has been revised. Access Revision 1? Yes. Item number 5050. Level 4 slash 5050. Object Class God. Classified. Your idol. My forefathers. Did you know that Curiosity killed a cat? 
You must understand it now. There is no St. George to heed your bidding. You will bask in my glory, for I, and I alone, have dominion. No terror shall exist in my domain. Only violent understandings. Thank you.